road, but what the elephant did was amazing. It's heartwarming to see elephants that never forget the humans who saved them. You can feel how grateful they are in every elephant reunion. Elephants are known to have an excellent memory, according to studies. Despite their poor eyesight, they can still recognize and remember a face, whether it be a human or another elephant. It's always joyous to watch elephants being reunited with fellow elephants or people they have encountered in their lives. Elephants are the largest land animals in the world, but behind these massive, thick-skinned creatures lies a very intelligent animal known for its extraordinary talents. Those that roam and live in a rainforest need to remember the places and paths leading to where they forage for food. Just like humans, they take note of the faces they see and recognize them, much like we remember our family, friends, and many more people. And when they see a familiar face, you can see how happy they are. One of the most remarkable facts about elephants is their excellent memory. For example, they can remember events that happened many years ago. In 2009, a sick elephant was discovered in the forests of Rayong, Thailand. It suffered from trypanosomiasis, a parasitic disease also known as sleeping sickness, which can be fatal. This infectious disease is mainly transmitted by tsetse flies and is not harmless to humans. As the elephant roamed the grounds on that summer day, a group of people spotted it. Residents immediately noticed that something was wrong with the animal. It wandered more or less aimlessly and seemed very weak. After observing the animal for some time, they decided to seek help. They contacted the Department of National Parks, Wildlife, and Plant Conservation, an organization specialized in saving wild animals. However, the elephant posed a challenge even for the experienced veterinarian, Dr. Terrible. Harmless looking and good-natured, elephants can be very dangerous to humans. Their large mass and, no less importantly, their large tusks pose a great danger. Nevertheless, Dr. Terrible decided to help the poor animal. Contrary to everyone's expectations, the elephant showed no aggression when approached by the veterinarian. Perhaps he was just too weak and sick to fight back, or maybe he sensed that the veterinarian was coming to his aid. Nonetheless, Dr. Terrible maintained a safe distance and shot the elephant with a tranquilizer dart from his rifle. This allowed him to assess the situation. The elephant had a fever, swelling in his face, neck, and stomach, and appeared to be very close to death. The animal also had irritated eyes and leg cramps. All the participants knew that quick action was needed, otherwise, the elephant would have little chance of recovery. With great difficulty and expense, they transported the several-ton animal to the Prachwap Kiri Khan province to provide care and rehabilitation. After a long period of hopes and fears, Dr. Terrible and his team stabilized the animal. The elephant was out of danger and on the mend. They named the elephant Jumbo and took care of him every day. They played with him and made sure he always had something to do, never getting bored. A few months later, the disease was finally defeated, and the giant returned to his former strength. When everything was ready, the staff released the elephant back into the wild. Although they had developed a deep affection for the gentle animal, all the members knew it was for Jumbo's benefit. However, the staff couldn't help but shed a tear or two when the animal disappeared into Thailand's dense forests. As the years passed, the rescue of the bull elephant was almost forgotten. But something happened that few people would have believed if it hadn't been caught on camera. While walking in the forest area of Regang, Dr. Paterapel heard the distinctive call of an elephant whose life he had saved 12 years earlier. Each elephant has its own way of making noise. I immediately knew it was Jumbo, the veterinarian explained in an interview. And indeed, he heard Jumbo. When the man recognized the elephant from a distance, he carefully approached the animal. He didn't know how Jumbo would react since he hadn't had contact with humans for over 10 years. But the joy of seeing each other again was too great, so the man slowly approached the thick-skinned elephant. What happened next will amaze you. At first, the elephant happily ate his grass in the presence of the veterinarian. The colossus seemed unimpressed by the man. But then something incredible happened. The elephant extended its long trunk towards the man. 
The vet was excited and held out his hand to let the elephant gently touch its trunk. The doctor beckoned to play young, who reached out his trunk to greet Dr. Patcher Paul, making human contact for what is believed to be the first time in more than a decade. I remember the sound very well, said Dr. Patcher Paul. Play Yang's noise is unique. Play Fong was very aggressive when we first met. His body was weak, and he couldn't fight other elephants. It took a long time for him to heal. But we learned that he is smart and takes care of himself. Recently, we met again, we missed each other, and we said hello. It's a very special moment. I hope it encourages people to appreciate the work people do with elephants. Dr. Patcher Paul continued, elephants are the official animal of Thailand, and an estimated 3,000 to 4,000 animal species live in the country. Of these, at least half are domesticated while the rest live in nature reserves. After 12 years, they reunited. Despite this long absence, the elephant recognized his rescuer and thanked him. It seemed that wasn't the only story about elephants paying it forward. Sully, the elephant, was discovered alone in the wilds of Africa about 20 years ago. She was still a newborn at the time and didn't have her mother with her. With the help of animal rights activists, she was rescued from a wildlife park. It was there that she met Adam, the reserve's head caretaker who served as the reserve's owner and, in fact, functioned as a mother figure for elephants like her. He organized their day-to-day -day care and well-being, ensuring they were always happy and healthy, said Robert, the reserve's executive director. By 2009, Sully had grown to be quite independent, and she left the reserve with her guardian's consent to live in the wild, in her natural environment. However, despite her newfound freedom, she remembered Adam, the man who had saved and raised her. Despite being out in the wild for more than a decade, Sully never appears to forget the generosity offered to her, Robert said. This was never more evident than when Sully chose to come out of the woods to pay a visit to Adam with her babies. We always discover more secrets about animals. Humans are social animals that are not only smart but also have a strong sense of emotion that gives them empathy and makes them humane. Often, in our animals, we try to see a similar trait, whether it's the adorable apologetic way dogs look at you when they do something wrong or the way cats purr and cuddle with their humans, which makes us all warm and fuzzy. Even apes have been seen to express similar emotions. Another animal known to possess a strong emotional quotient is the elephant, the giant and adorable creature. Pachyderms are truly intelligent beings, and I recently came across a story that will make you fall even more in love with them. The story is about Lawrence Anthony, an international conservationist, environmentalist, and explorer who resided in the Thula Thula Game Reserve in Zululand, South Africa. Roughly 20 years ago, a group of rogue elephants was wreaking havoc wherever they were enclosed. They were being enclosed because, once they stepped out, they could be hunted down. Anthony brought the elephant herd to the game reserve, which spread across thousands of acres, to help save their lives from poachers. The moment he met them for the first time, he sensed how afraid the elephants were of humans, which led to their aggressive stance out of fear and confusion. Their previous matriarch had been killed, and the remaining elephants were doing whatever they could to protect their pack. Anthony eventually tried to communicate with the matriarch through his tone and gestures, which eventually calmed them. Eventually, the elephants accepted the reserve as their home and carried on with their lives, while Anthony continued to bond with them and take care of them. This earned him the nickname, The Elephant Whisperer. Sadly, in 2012, Anthony passed away suddenly due to a heart attack. His family was heartbroken. No one knows how, but the elephants traveled from one corner of the vast game reserve to the other and arrived at Anthony's home. They stood right outside, mourning the passing of one of their family members. They remained there for nearly two days before dispersing again. This story is completely unreal, except it happened. How did the elephants know that Anthony had passed away? Scientists haven't been able to deduce the cause for this phenomenon till date. However, researchers in the past have tested the emotional quotient of elephants, and time and again, they've proven to be highly emotional creatures. 
In a 2014 study from the journal Peer J, it was shown how Asian elephants in a park in Thailand were seen reassuring their friends and family when they sensed they were experiencing some sort of illness. Scientists call this phenomenon emotional contagion. They explain that the initial distress responses are overwhelmingly directed towards ambiguous stimuli, making it difficult to determine if bystanders reacted to the distressed individual or showed a delayed response to the same stimulus. Nonetheless, the directionality of the contacts and their nature strongly suggest attention toward the emotional states of conspecifics. The elephant's behavior is therefore best classified as similar to consolation. Responses by apes possibly based on convergent evolution of empathetic capacities. I don't believe elephants in the wild just want to harm us. They are protective of their young, and when bull elephants are in must, their testosterone is 60% higher than normal. In these cases, you definitely want to stay clear of them. If you happen to come upon an elephant, the best thing to do is slowly back up and avoid making eye contact. A bull elephant in must would see eye contact as a challenge, and there's no way you can win. Many elephants will mock charge first to give you a warning before actually charging and potentially causing harm. If we respect elephants and other wild animals, understanding that we are in their territory and not vice versa, we can coexist with them. Also, elephants in captivity who were rescued from people who abuse them usually form bonds with the caregivers or those who take care of and respect them. As I said before, elephants are extremely intelligent animals with amazing memories. They want us to let them live in their own territories and treat them with the respect they deserve. So, friendly encounters with elephants depend on the situation. We don't fully understand their complex communication, so what triggers them to attack may not be clear to us. My advice is to admire them from a distance. The story quickly spread around the world and showed everyone how smart and loving elephants are. What do you think about these incredible encounters? The staff of the Animal Rescue Center met a poor stray dog on the roadside. To their surprise, it kept yelling at a house. When the staff walked into the dog, the scene in front of him shocked him. What happened? Why does the dog keep yelling at the house? It is said that maternal love is the greatest feeling in the world, which bears all people's gratitude to their mothers. Motherly love is often difficult to describe in words, and it is an emotion that we can't praise too much. Moreover, maternal love is not only related to human beings, it exists in every place in the world, regardless of race and boundaries, but also among all animals. Today we are going to tell the story about a great mother dog. On this day, the staff of the Animal Rescue Center found a stray dog with strange behavior nearby. It kept shouting at a house and looked very sad. The young worker approached the dog curiously, and at that moment, he saw the swollen breasts drooping under the poor stray dog. The staff was shocked. He was sure that the stray dog had just given birth to several puppies. It is reasonable for the dog to be with its own children. Why did it run here alone? After that, the staff called the stray dog to his side. The dog noticed that the strange man in front of him was harmless, and immediately wagged his tail and ran over. The staff put a leash on the dog and called another companion to bring some food to the dog. It looked hungry. After eating the food, the dog looked up at the staff pitifully, and his eyes were full of pleading and sadness. The staff squatted down to find out what had happened. The dog took the leash and took two steps forward, then looked back at the staff and motioned him to follow himself. The dog took the rescuer to the outside of the house where he had been standing. His child was inside at this time, but he couldn't get in at all, which made the dog very disappointed. The staff knocked on the owner's door, and after learning that the poor dog gave birth to his child, his owner immediately kicked him out of the house because they no longer needed the old and emaciated dog. But the mother dog is very sad. She hasn't seen her babies carefully and hasn't fed them. She is very worried about whether her babies will be hungry, so she has been barking outside the house and wants to go in and find her babies. The staff looked at the mother dog in front of them, I wanted it to reunite with my children. However, the owner of the dog refused to give the dog to them. 
There was no way out. The staff had to take the dog mother back to their rescue center first. They carried the dog mother to the car, but the dog mother's eyes never moved away from the house until the car drove away, and she kept staring at the direction of the house. After settling in, the staff returned to the dog's owner's home with a representative of an animal rights expert. After communication, they finally brought the puppies back to the rescue center. The puppies are helpless in the pet box, not knowing where they are going. Mother Dog is very worried at the rescue center. It walked back and forth in the cage. Suddenly, it heard the footsteps of human beings. The staff came in with its children in their arms. The mother dog pulled the fence excitedly. She finally saw the children she thought about day and night. The mother dog took her children into her arms and began to nurse them. At this moment, she had been waiting for too long. After the children fell asleep, the mother dog stood up and walked to the staff. She looked at the human beings in front of her gratefully. Without them, she might never see her children. The staff touched the dog's head. Fortunately, the ending of the story was beautiful. After that, the dog lived with her children at ease. From the dog mother, we can see the brilliance and greatness of motherhood. It is always worried about the feelings paid by its children, which makes people feel deeply and moved. The maternal brilliance emanating from that small body is also dazzling. In fact, dogs are not only very loving to their children, but also full of maternal love to human babies, just like dogs in the following stories. The young couple are about to welcome new members of their family. A cute baby, but one thing makes them very worried. They have a very cute dog. After having a baby, two people will inevitably put more energy into the baby. They are worried that the dog will be sad because of this. In fact, the worries of husband and wife are unnecessary. A few weeks later, the wife gave birth to a healthy girl. They named her Selena. When the wife and husband came home with Selena in their arms, the dog ran over excitedly. The wife asked her husband to hold the dog and then put Selena close to it. The dog fell in love with this cute baby at first sight. She was so cute and cute. Since then, the dog has been by Selena's side all day. It even began to sleep next to Selena's crib, and was always alert to the baby's surroundings. Their relationship became very close. Whenever Selena wakes up, no matter what the dog is doing, it will run to the crib very nervously. It is worried about what will happen to the baby. The couple are very moved when they look at the dog's nervous appearance. Their dog loves Selena as much as they do. However, they don't want their dog to be so tired every day, because every time Selena eats, the dog will lie on the sofa and yawn. The couple keep assuring the dog that everything is fine, but this can't stop him from being vigilant. They feel helpless, so they try to move the dog's nest to another room. However, the dog is not interested in other places. Every night, he still sleeps under Selena's crib and watches her dutifully. That day, Selena suddenly began to cry, and the sleeping dog immediately opened its eyes, and then ran nervously to the side of Selena's crib. It was still on high alert and sniffed around the crib. Because the bumper of the crib is too high, blocking the dog's view, it can't see whether the baby is safe or not. Moreover, dogs have a very sensitive sense of smell. They have as many as 300 million olfactory receptors, which means that compared with humans, dogs have 40 times more sense of smell than humans. It was not until the hostess came to pick Selena up that the dog was relieved. Usually, his wife often takes her dog out for a walk with Selena, and the dog will repeatedly confirm the safety of Selena lying in the stroller. She has regarded Selena as her own child, and this cute little guy has almost become her whole life. The dog likes to follow Selena very much. Whenever Selena puts snacks on the ground, the dog is very happy to help her clean up the mess. For the couple, they are very happy that the floor can be kept very clean every day. The company of dogs is the happiest thing for Selena every day. Their feelings transcend time and distance. 
Both husband and wife are glad to have such a loving dog. It is never easy to take care of children, so are human beings and animals. Even many times, animals are in a more difficult situation than human beings, but their maternal love for children is not inferior to human beings at all. In fact, the feelings between animals are also very deep, and they are not weaker than us humans. I hope that people and animals can find a way to live in harmony, so that the world can be more colorful and peaceful. Okay, that's all for this video. Don't forget to subscribe to likes and comments if you like them. We will continue to bring you more touching stories about animals, so I'll see you next time. The meaning of mother is very deep. As mothers, they give their children life and need to raise them. However, it turns out that not all mothers are good mothers. Whether human or animal, many mothers abandon their babies when they give birth. Although such things often happen, we still believe that the world is full of true love. We always think that maternal love is the greatest, and full of mystery, with great power. So how is a mother's love defined? Let me tell you a story about a lion and a dog. Faith is wonderful. This story from a lion cub was born in the zoo. The zoo had raised a lioness. Not long ago the lioness became pregnant and gave birth to a healthy lion cub. At the time, the keepers all wished the lioness well and welcomed the cub. The keepers thought they would live happily ever after, but the lioness wasn't much of a mother. The keepers noticed the problem the night after the cub was born. At that point, the lion cub had been barking, its voice weak but full of fear, so the keepers rushed to check. When the keeper arrived at the lion's den, he saw a heart-wrenching sight. The newborn lion cub did not open its eyes. But the lioness left it alone and just let it crawl around. The lion cub looked so scared that it could not see, so it called out to its mother. However, the lioness ignored it and shocked the keeper by pushing the cub away as soon as it approached, so he rushed the cub out in his arms. When he got the lion cub out, he remembered that he had no milk, and that was why it kept barking. The lioness refused to feed the cub or even go near it. If the keeper hadn't brought the lion cub out in time, maybe it would have died. After the keeper gave the lion cub milk, it calmed down and went to sleep. The keeper decided to try again to place the lion cub with the lioness, but the lioness still did not respond. The keeper felt helpless, but he knew that the lion cub needed to be breastfed and cared for by its mother, so he wanted to find it a new mother. At the time, the zoo had no other lionesses who had just given birth, so the keeper had to call the vet for help. The veterinarian told the keeper that other animals that had just given birth could be its mother, so the keeper went outside the zoo to look for it. Luckily, he found a German shepherd who had just given birth in a family not far from the zoo. The man told the keeper that the German shepherd was very nice and gentle. We all know that German shepherd was very intelligent and very close to humans. The keeper then decided to give the lion cub to the German shepherd. He felt that it would be very inconvenient to keep the lion cub in the family, so he asked the man's permission and took the German shepherd to the zoo. At first, the keepers didn't have high hopes and just wanted to give it a try, but then what happened came as a surprise and a great relief. Just as they were worried about whether the German Shepherd would be able to accept the lion cub or whether the lion would be able to accept the breast milk of the German Shepherd, they learned that their concerns were completely misplaced. As soon as the lion cub saw the German Shepherd, it went to drink milk. However, the German Shepherd was a little scared and just looked at the lion cub without moving. After that, the German Shepherd lived with the Lion Cub at the zoo and the German Shepherd became bold and accepted the Lion Cub. At that time, it would offer to feed the Lion Cub and lick it and cuddle it to sleep as if it were its own child. However, 
something unexpected had also happened. At that time, the puppies thought they were like the lion cub, so they became arrogant, and the lion cub became like a dog. As a result, the keepers could not tell who was the real dog and who was the real lion. At that time, they lived a very happy and lively life and played together. Sometimes the lion cub would climb on top of the German shepherd and play and be very naughty. But the German shepherd didn't get angry and was very good-natured. The lion cub who lived with them for a long time became gentle, kind and tolerant, unlike its biological mother, who was angry. At that time, it really thought of the German Shepherd as its mother. As time went by, the lion cub grew older, so they had to part. The lions were different species from the dogs, and the lions were wild, so the keeper had to separate them. At that time, although they were both very sad, they had separate lives. The keepers then returned the German Shepherd and the lion went on to live in the zoo. After many years, the lion grew up. Thinking that the German Shepherd missed the lion, the man took the shepherd to the zoo to see the lion. At that time, they all thought that animals have very short memories. So they thought that the lion had forgotten the German Shepherd. What they did not expect, however, was that the lion remembered the German Shepherd and rubbed against it warmly, while the German Shepherd licked the lion to express its missing. This scene moved all the people present. And there was this touching story. The natural world is wonderful, and the interracial friendship moves us very much. The story took place in Belarus. As is known to all, it is very common to keep dogs in the countryside, those dogs can not only watch the house but also help their owners with their work. Do you believe that dogs can get along well with ducks? It sounds crazy, but that's what happened. After the ducks were born without their mother, the dog felt sorry for them and took it upon itself to look after them. The dog was able to keep an eye on the house for its master as he had to do farm work. Most dogs are docile, so their owners don't discipline them. At that time, the dog was dirty because it was always playing in the field. It liked to run around to relax. Why did the dog and the ducks become family? What happened? The ducks became loyal fans of the dog and followed it every day. Then the ducks began to think of themselves as dogs and imitate the dog's behavior, and they got along very well. The dog took the ducks as its children and slept with them at night. It ate after they had finished their meal. At that time, the ducks also volunteered to rely on the dog. At that time, the ducks were very naughty and looked down on other animals, so they often started trouble and bullied them. Whenever the mother dog saw them, it would criticize them severely. The owner was annoyed by the ducks. We are very moved by the greatness of this dog. They are not family, but they are very affectionate. Thanks to the dog's care, the ducks had a very high survival rate. Sometimes a mother's love is wonderful. The animals in both stories are very kind and they prove that affection and connection can be formed between different species. <laughs>